So my name is uh, Myron McKenzie Clays. My major or current classification here is a post-baccalaureate student. I have a uh, Master's of Arts in Spanish, but I'm continuing with studies of Arabic, and I mock interviewed with the Charlotte Council of International Affairs. Participating in a mock interview with an employer was uh, a bit intimidating at first, but I really got some good feedback from the employer. One of the things that I learned was how I'm perceived by others, and uh, the mock interview employer made a point of saying that you know, Myron, it's hard for me not to consider you as a peer because I got in there and got a little chatty and things. And so she reminded me that it should take pretty much a minute or two per question that they ask you. And it's good that you're chatty, but try to be a little bit more direct. And so that would be one of the positive takeaways that I had. Just simply knowing uh, the routine and, you know, what to bring, what to present. Um, how to dress. I guess the biggest thing for me that it helped do was um, I learned that it was a dialogue between the employer and myself and so that meant that I got to ask questions and it really was an issue uh, an issue of making sure that I was a good fit for for um, for the employer so I used those skills that I learned in the mock interview program to um, interview here recently with a law firm. I do uh, volunteer translation work and we sort of had a dialogue and went back and said, I said, well, this is what I can do for you. This is what I'm not comfortable doing, but I'm willing to learn. And so it was a really positive experience that I felt like I got some real world application before, you know, before it mattered, which was important. I mean, I was nervous for like the first maybe a minute or two and then we started we sort of uh, started to build a rapport which is you know what you do in a in any sort of social context right you get to know the person and so it's these these skills aren't just unique to interviews and I guess once I got a little bit more comfortable and got my feet under me and she started asking me questions and I started responding like I am now and you know, the rest was history Make sure that the mock interview uh, fits your your skill set, like your qualifications, because it's really important to be able to talk about those things and be able to sort of pitch yourself for the for the position and discuss why you are a highly qualified individual. And it's easier to do that if you have picked something that is directly related to your to your field um, and it, it will just go better if you the interview is more guided the the employer I almost said the interpreter the employer gets uh, um, what he needs to know out of the interview and you get what you need to know and it makes for a productive first meeting and start of a relationship hopefully so I would say uh, just go in and be yourself and be very um, very very truthful and very, very honest about your uh, your your abilities and I'll elaborate on that for just a second I was uh, contacted by a law firm here in Charlotte to do a volunteer interview my advisor former master's advisor gave me you know passed me the contact information and said Myron reach out we think you know you will be uh, a really great candidate to work for them and I got there and the partner, there were, there were two partners, and the one partner didn't speak any Spanish at all. So what she needed was an interpreter. And I said, well, I was told that this was a translation position, and I was just very forthright with them that, you know, I told them that I uh, planned to take interpretation here this fall, which we do offer. Um, and. Uh, so yeah, I was I was really forthright with them and, and let them know and I was honest about my abilities and I felt comfortable. I thought that they were going to test my Spanish position, I mean my Spanish capabilities, uh, my communication capabilities in Spanish, but they did not test those. So thank God I was honest on my resume um, because I don't believe in misrepresenting yourself. And the, but the, 
the biggest thing at the end of the day is just to go in and just be you. I mean, because your your personality, everything that you bring to the table needs to show up in a good light. And if you are going in there trying to put something on or, or you seem desperate because you want to get the job too bad, all of that's going to be a negative, lead to a negative impression. So it's better just to be genuine, I guess.